Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to my unboxing of the GTX 980 water block by EK. EK is located in Slovenia, and what else comes from Slovenia in Europe? I don't know. If you do, please leave a comment in the comment section below. But all that matters is that EK makes really great water blocks, so let's see what this water block includes. But before I begin, I noticed there's a lot of rattle, which isn't a very good sign. Oh gosh, that does not sound good. Okay, you get a manual that I'm going to read at least three times through before beginning work on the water block. You get thermal pads for the memory and this bag usually comes with the mounting tools but I don't know how the bag doesn't have any defects in it but oh no look the bag split at the bottom and that's why all the mounting tools are scattered everywhere. If I end up missing a screw, I am going to be extremely, extremely upset. You get thermal paste for reapplying to your GPU. And yeah, you get a lot of screws. I'm going to do a head count of these screws and check them with the screws that I have in my other water block and make sure that I have everything. The water block itself is nickel plated copper and it's shined to a very polished finish. Copper is a very good choice for a metal for use in water blocks and radiators because it's very conductive. Silver is more conductive, but if you want to pay for a silver water block, be my guest. Nickel is used as plating because copper can oxidize over time and it can turn greenish. If you do want to pay for a pure copper block without nickel, it'll cost a little bit less than a nickel plated water block. Nickel is a good choice for metal for use as plating because it's very similar to copper on the galvanic index. Of course, you want to keep the metals in your loop very low in galvanic index differential. So silver, I don't advocate silver kill coils because it's high on the galvanic index compared to copper. Aluminum, and probably not a good choice. Brass and nickel and copper are all okay. A lot of fittings are made out of brass, so brass will be okay with copper and nickel. So the plastic is acetyl and when you get to choose plastics for your water block excuse like this smudge I've been sweating over the block while holding it while reviewing it because I have some lamps next to me that are emanating a lot of light but when you get a choice for plastics for your water block you're generally going to come up against acrylic or acetyl. Acetyl is a plastic with a much better constitution it's rated to higher temperatures and it's more rigid but acrylic is translucent and it might give you a cooler look if you're going for that um, cool kind of, I don't know, I mean I don't know how to describe it. If you do want a translucent backplate-ish, no this is not the backplate, wait, the water block, the uh, you know, the backplate will be over the circuitry area. So what, what would you call this area? The front plate? I don't know. If you want a translucent front plate, then you should go with acrylic. They cost about the same. I don't think it'll be a deal breaker, but you never see like the front part of your GPU anyway. So that completes my overview of the EK GTX 980 water block. I'm going to mount this and hope that I'm not missing any screws from the damaged packaging.